Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here on my YouTube talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and relationships and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about why people are deliberately spiteful and calculated and the kind of mindset behind it in their heads and their kind of fucked up thing that they have going on because I feel like when you understand where people are at in their own minds it can help you to stop taking things so personally and help you to actually own your own power and stay in your own energy and not constantly absorb theirs and this is something that I've been dealing with in my own personal life even though I wrote this video I did down months ago but it's something that's still going on and I'm sure when it's all resolved and stuff I will talk about it in more detail but I think a lot of us deal with conflict and like people that are just not very nice people <laughs> in our lives and our day-to-day -day lives whether that's somebody in your personal life or whether it's just like a stranger that you walk past on the street I want to talk about why people are actually spiteful and calculated with it and something that I've come to understand for myself is that it's about them and their childhood their own mindset their own state of being and vibrational frequency and where they're at and that can be based in so many different things and for so many different reasons depending on whatever their experiences have been but none of that is an excuse for their behavior and oftentimes when you're on the receiving end of it it can feel like a personal attack and it can feel like you've done something wrong or like it's kind of being directed at you for a reason and like deliberately, you know, but the reality of it is that it's actually about that person's mindset and where they're at and not even necessarily something that you've done wrong. It's just that they are dealing with their own inner issues in their own crazy little minds and they like to essentially point the finger at you and direct emotions towards you and that can be quite hard to deal with I know for me I've really struggled in so many situations with this especially because I don't really like conflict and I feel like that comes from not being able to hold your own energetic boundaries so one thing I've said a million times before in my day-to-day -day life is that like when a uh, conflict in situation kind of happens it feels like being stabbed <laughs> obviously not physically but like emotionally it feels like literally being stabbed or like having somebody like fire something at you and you get hit with it energetically which is essentially what they're doing they're putting their energy in your space and in your aura and it can feel like a physical attack or an energetic attack and it can be quite hard to navigate and I've really come to understand that actually when you hold your own boundaries and you constantly remind yourself that their energy is not yours to carry it's not yours to absorb it's not yours to even consider and think about and like cater to when it's somebody that's being spiteful and deliberate you know it's actually somebody to shut out fully and to hold your aura and hold your energetic boundaries strong because you don't need to take on anything to do with what they have to say or whatever they're feeling like none of that is yours to absorb and carry with you and of course this is way easier said than done especially if it's people that you care about you know and people that have been in your life a long time like it can be hard to hold energetic boundaries and to stand in your truth and also to remember your own worth and your own power and the fact that it's not about you and it's not personal to you because it can feel so personal so it can be quite hard to like hold those boundaries but it's definitely the key to no longer absorbing whatever it is that they're aiming at you you know and whatever emotion it is that they're feeling because a lot of the time it's a projection a lot of the time like they might be feeling anger or sadness or whatever the case may be but that doesn't mean that it's you that's caused it you know like they're in control of their emotions and if they're choosing to direct those at you that's them trying to cope with their emotions and not knowing how and that doesn't mean that we have to tolerate their unhealthy coping mechanisms because at the end of the day we will have to take care of ourselves and if their behavior is constantly firing at you and constantly being like detrimental to your well-being then that's not a dynamic that actually serves you or is worth being a part of you know so it can be quite hard to navigate this and 
figure out how to hold these boundaries strong and how to stand in your own power and I really really feel like this comes down to a level of like a sense of self and owning your own power and knowing your own worth so oftentimes as and this is something I've done, especially like in my teenage years and stuff in school and dealing with bullying and things like that. I did not know who the hell I was and I didn't value myself. Like I have valued other people, their needs, their opinions, their everything about them and what they wanted way more than myself. So that meant whenever they would fire their insults or their like emotions that might not have even been about me it could have been like a situation they had at home and they've brought it to school and fired it at me whenever I was like on the receiving end of something like that I took it all on as my own because I did not know the difference between my needs and my worth and like who I am and everything compared to them I kind of just merged it all and basically enmeshed and a bit codependent and people pleasing and all of that so it's something that a lot of people do and it's a way for us to survive and for us to cope with the energy that's being fired at us because it's quite overwhelming you know but when you develop your sense of self and you start to trust yourself and you start to believe in yourself and you know your heart and you know your truth and your intent when it comes to interacting with people if you know your intent and you know your truth then when somebody fires something at you you'll know that it's actually not true that like whatever they're saying is based in a lie and it's based in their own thoughts their own mind and their projections and not the reality of the situation and when you can realize that and remind yourself of that constantly it can be so much easier to put the boundaries up and sometimes of course you may slip up and like it might get to you and it might trigger you it might upset you and that's perfectly okay but being able to regulate that like regulate your emotions when that happens and then start to remind yourself of your power and the fact that whatever this situation is is not based in reality it's not the truth of the situation so it's not yours to carry, that's for them to work through, you know, like if they're angry at you for something, that anger is for them to process, it's for them to deal with, because that's not your emotion, that's theirs, you know, so like, and you can't be putting your emotions on them either, and if that's something that you know in yourself that you consciously would not do, like, why would you want to take it from somebody else if you wouldn't even do it to them, do you know what I mean? So I just think it's something that, takes a bit of time and a bit of practice but once you get there you will no longer absorb everybody else's bullshit and all of their feels and all of their projections and you will really start to like own who you are and walk in your truth and also stand up for yourself when people project and things because not only is a boundary not absorbing their emotions and being able to clear that out of your energy field it's also about actually speaking your truth and being like I'm not going to to tolerate this from you I'm not going to take this like what you're doing right now is a projection and if it's somebody that you love and care about being able to lovingly assert that boundary you know it doesn't mean you have to be rude it doesn't mean you have to like stoop to their level of spitefulness but just being able to say like you're projecting right now and this is not something that I'm going to absorb and take on because this is not mine and they need to work through that for themselves and obviously we can't control other people so that doesn't mean that they actually will work through it but just giving them the opportunity and like it's essentially like putting a mirror on them instead of them like projecting at you and you taking it on you kind of hold up that mirror to them and be like wait this is what you're actually doing like this is the reality of what you're doing and it's not okay and being able to kind of turn things back to them so that they have the opportunity to do that in a work and then it's kind of up to them whether they choose to do that or not and if they don't I mean you can't control it that's completely up to them and you can decide for yourself what position they get to have in your life because that's something I've really come to understand is like we can't control people we can let them be them and we can be honest with them and be loving with them and then whatever they choose to do you then get to witness that and see who they are and where they're at and then decide what position they get to have in your life based on what you need and what you want and your well-being you know
so we don't have to tolerate any of the shit that other people do and it usually comes from their own inner beliefs that come from childhood as well especially if they've not done any inner work since childhood then they likely carry a lot of trauma and a lot of pain and a lot of anger and things and that's for them to deal with no matter whether it came from childhood or whether it was a recent experience that they went through you know everybody else's emotions are for them to deal with and yours are for you so yeah <laughs> i just feel like this is a lot of um toxic dynamics that happen nowadays especially with social media as well and it can be very easy to get caught up in it and to start going back and forth with people and get sucked into their drama that's kind of what people want at the end of the day when they're in that type of vibrational state they want to reel you into their drama because that feeds them you know some people thrive off of that especially if they've done no inner work so getting any kind of attention is better than none at all you know you see that with children a lot they're looking for their needs to be met and sometimes they'll throw a massive tantrum or something as a way to get your attention because any form of attention is better than no attention at all and this can play out in adulthood as adults as well when they're still doing the same type of behavior just to try and get a reaction and it's down to you to stay in your own power and not give them that because that's not something that actually benefits you and it doesn't really benefit them either in the long run because you know obviously they're staying in lots of toxic dynamics that aren't healthy anyway but it's up for up to them to kind of elevate out of that and you can't control people and you can't force them to do that so just leaving them where they're at being aware of where they're at and then deciding what position they get to have in your life is honestly a game changer and sometimes that means cutting people off and other times that means kind of dipping in and out with them and seeing them every now and then like it's up to you and whatever the situation is and what's best for you but just knowing your truth knowing who you are and being able to stand firmly and that will really help you to decide what serves you and what doesn't so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching definitely check out the description box below for links to everything about me my music my crystal jewelry brand and my phone number because i do send weekly inspirational messages and everything else about me and i will see you in the next video bye